Yo, what's up? It's Big Boy. Y'all know what time it is. One half of Outcast, but one whole of me, nigga. We right here on Out the Box TV. Got my dog Black on C-Bone right here, too. Star Wars. Yeah. Colorado, the ATL. We got Big Boy in the house. Yep, yep. Now, the biggest news is you made the jump from Jive. Now you on Def Jam. Shit. First off. Not ahead. really, not really, really. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in space right now. I'm in the universe. I, you know, huh. like, for real, man. Like, you know, well, I'm talking about boy, for real. It's a done, it's a done deal. The album done, so you know, um, y'all can get it in a couple of months, and we just try to see who we gonna pick and choose to put this motherfucker out. Word, word. So the Def Jam is just they getting the papers. Yeah, we was working some things out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, a lot of stuff going on right now, man. So you'll see. This new album, though, man, Lucius Left Foot. What's the difference between that and what we heard on your last semi solo album? Uh, no, nah, it wasn't semi-solo. That was all the way solo. You know what I'm saying? It was two separate records. Uh, I don't know why people act like they done fell and bumped their motherfucking head. I mean... We don't want y'all to break up, man. No, it ain't... I it mean, ain't even with a break up. We just want y'all all on one album. But, Always. Nah, man, but you, you can't just do that all the time. You just can't have two niggas hip to hip all the time, man. We still in the group, but we got, you know, we got other things we want to do. But, you know, we working on the solo albums and we working on the Outkast album, but, um... This album right here is the follow-up to uh, Speaker Boss Love Below, and you know, that did like 15 million, so you know, you add that up, man. This one right here is bigger and better, stronger, and much faster, so it's done, it's in the can, and I ain't gonna keep talking about it, I'm just gonna give it to y'all. I got a new song that me and Dre just cut a couple of weeks ago called Looking For You, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that out in a minute just for all the Outkast fans to satisfy your appetite. <laughs> One last question. This is my, this is my last question because my homeboy is going to be mad if I don't ask this question. Okay. He said y'all been around since 92, 93. Right. Everybody know that Andre's style went one way, but nobody really talk about Big Boy's style and how the Doughboy scene helped really blow up. Even though y'all was huge and sold millions and right. huge amount of records, it didn't blow up to the Doughboy scene and everybody got put on. My homeboy said, how does it feel? to be the godfather of Atlanta rap because your style is what everybody else stole. I mean, hey man, that's that's, that's hard, man. It's, it's just like really people are influenced by a lot of stuff, you know. Um, as far as styles, man, like I, my style don't have a face, you know what I'm talking about? I, I do with any, anything I get on the track with whoever and roast your ass straight up, man. Niggas know what time it is with the B.I.G. So all y'all out there who acting like y'all pretending don't know what's going on, nigga, check my discography, nigga. Google me, nigga. And check everything I done been on and we gonna still keep ripping. I just did a song with um, uh, Mariah Carey remix with Gucci Man, OJ the Juice Man the other day, man. We out here working, man. Check it out. Hey.